Welcome to those following the tutorial. We have reached part seven, firewalling, finally. Um, we've done an awful lot of pre-work and this is turning into War and Peace, tutorial 25 is. But part seven brings us finally to our firewall itself and defining it in more detail. You may recall way back in part one, we built a traffic flow map to think about what we wanted specifically to allow. So within our diagram here, if I pop that over here, here we go. We have a private DMZ and the DMZ as a from zone is going to talk to the web. It's going to allow everything. We haven't put any specific ports in here. We're just going to allow everything. And that is why we built this map. But we also need now to build a zone map too. So if we look at things at a really high level, we're going to have a set of zones. And there are plenty of those zones. We're going to have the DMZ, the web, the app, the data, and the management. We know about those. We also know, I guess, about outside. This is our public internet machine over here. A zone that didn't really get talked about was the VRRP share or the router itself, if you only have one of them. And that's denoted local, the local zone, the V-router itself, so our Viata itself. And then, of course, there's one more zone, which is represented by a whole group of IP addresses that you need to allow. I mentioned it again in video one. In order for any machines to be built in software on the private networks uh, through your Viata, you have to allow access to a whole host of software networks and we're going to group those into a group and make that group allowed within our zones. So this gives us this type of zone map to think about it in this way and then when we start to go through it we say app to data, app to inside, app to management and we can think about it in those ways. So together these two maps between the traffic flows for our intrasite firewall zones and thinking about what's got access to the outside, what's got access to the inside, you can just basically break down your firewall into all these different segments that need to exist. And these will be our rule sets. So at the moment, if we go, if I slim that down, and I do a show, um, run, sorry, run, show, firewall, we have no rule sets at all, and we just have the global state policy that we set at the very outset, I think, tutorial two. Might have been tutorial three in the baseline. Um, so we've come a long way, but we've got an awful, lot more, a lot, an awful lot more work still left to do to get all these firewalls set up, and we have to be very precise on the way we do it. So in order to just tick one box first, I guess the, the obvious thing would be to set up this group of software networks and to know what they are. So it's very useful to know what these are. So we're in configuration mode and we're gonna set um, firewall group. And we're gonna, we're gonna create a group and it's a network group. And that network group, we're going to call it Softlayer Private. Private. And we're going to give it a description. And we're going to say this is the allowed Softlayer Private. Whoops, if I could spell private networks. and IP ranges. Why don't we call it that? Yeah, that'll be enough for a description. And then we just need to add all of the actual uh, networks themselves. So, we bring up the same line and we say network. And one of the first networks is the 10.0.64.0 slash 19. The next network is going to be the 10.1.128.0 slash 19. 
Now there's a list of these on the web at knowledgelayer.softlayer.com slash FAQs slash 196 hash 154. And I'll have this in a PowerPoint deck that I'll stick on GitHub. Um, all these pictures that we've been going through, I'll stick them on GitHub so that you can follow it there as well. Next network is going to be the 10.1.208.0 slash 20. Then we got the 144, uh, no, 10.2.144.0 slash 20. The 10.2.220.0 slash 24. The 10.3.236.0 slash 24 network. I've got to be very precise with these because somebody will watch it afterwards and say, no, not that network. The next one is the 10.3, no, the 10.2.221.0 slash 24. And these all have a particular function, these networks. 3.237.0 slash 24. 2.65.0 slash 24 and then finally 64.0 slash 20. For the uh, private network group, there's also a public network group that we need to allow. Um, so we want to um, set firewall group, whoops, group, and it's a network group, and this time we're going to call it SL public. Give it a description, and that will be, let's stick with the allowed soft layer public IP ranges. Okay. And in that group the networks are 5.10 whoops 5.10 dot 116.0 dot slash 24 network then we have um, 159.8.116.0 slash 24. And then finally, the 173.192.0 slash 32. And commit that. Okay, so we have a set of network addresses on the private and on the public that we've assigned groups to. So now having addressed, I guess, the final element before we can dive into our firewall rules, individual firewall rule sets, um, it remains to dive in and create the private DMZ um, firewall rule. So to do that, we just go set firewall, name. One of the nice aspects is you can give it a nice name. Um, so we're going to call this DMZ to web in our little example here. And again, we're thinking all the time about the zones, those zones that we showed just a minute ago. So DMZ to web, the default action. Default action will be drop. Then we're gonna give it a description. 
Always nice for other administrators to read what our thinking was. So this is DMZ traffic, whoops, uh, traffic to the web zone. I mean, it sort of says that with DMZ to web, but you're just doubling up for the purposes of making it absolutely clear to those who come after you from a management and operations point of view. Rule 100, action, accept. What are we going to accept? Well, we're going to say destination group, and it's a group destination. And we'll link this later on to the groups that we just did. Okay, commit that. So that's DMZ to web. Okay. The next one is DMZ to that group of inside networks that we had. So set firewall name DMZ to inside. And the default action again is drop. And this is a new firewall rule set. The description on this one is going to be DMZ traffic, whoops, traffic if I could spell, to the soft layer private network groups. That should cover it nicely for another admin. Rule 100. Rule 100 on this particular one is action accept. And what are we accepting? Destination group network group sl underscore private that's what we're allowing commit that so we have two firewalls or two firewall rule sets set up we can do now run show firewall and we can see what we have in there so we have dmz to inside and it lists out the rule for us all protocols action accept Rule 100 on DMZ to inside. DMZ to web, accept all and drop everything else. But to be honest, Rule 100 overrides this one anyway. So it's not been applied. You'll see here it's not been applied. It's inactive. It's, everything's still all working. We haven't actually applied the firewall yet. And that'll be video eight where we'll apply the firewall uh, or part eight, sorry, of tutorial 25. And now we're going to mechanically go through, if I can bring up my picture again, if I can find it down here. I've got so many windows open. Um, can't find it at the moment. Let's uh, shuffle a few of these other windows around. Let's just have a look at this again. So we're going through and we'll mechanically now set up all of these particular rule sets, all of these firewalls. And that's what we need to do. Um, it's overhead, yes, but once it's there, it's very clear and very manageable from the point of view of moving forward. So let's do the next one. Um, we've done, what have we done? We have done, well, we can see them here. DMZ to web and DMZ to inside. And maybe another way of viewing this is to bring this one up. We've done DMZ to web. Now we're going to do the web ones, working from top to bottom. So it's going to be web to DMZ, web to app, web to database, and web to management. So let's run through all of those and see where we get to. Okay, so like I said, we're going to do web now. So let's do web to app. So we are going to go set firewall name 
web to app. I'm going to set web to app with a default action of drop. Then we're going to give it a description. And our description is going to be web traffic allowed to the app zone. After description, we want to say our rule, our rule 100 for this particular firewall is action accept. And then what are we accepting? Destination group. Commit that. Next up is web to data. So web to data, default action drop, description, web traffic allowed to the data zone. What are we going to do after that? Mechanically again, rule 100, and we're going to say action accept. Yep, just having a look at my rule sets here. Destination port 445. Now why is that? Well let's have a look at our picture again. If we bring up our actual screenshot of our zones and our screenshot of this web to database we're saying yes on port 445 and port 1433. So that's why I'm doing that. So we go back to destination port 445. That's what we're saying is allowed. Then the protocol, so we're actually gonna refine it even further and say the protocol allowed is TCP UDP, unsurprisingly, I guess. Then we're going to have a second rule for the other um, port that we're allowing. So we're saying action accept destination is going to be port 1433. That's what we said we were going to allow. And we're going to say the protocol is going to be TCP, whoops, TCP, UDP. We're going to commit that. So we've done web to data. Finally, after web to data, we're going to have web to management. So, set firewall name web to management. Default action is drop. I'm going to have to check this as well. What have I got in terms of my um, not that one, this one? What were we allowing? Web to management, everything. Okay, just double checking there. Web to management, everything. So web to management uh, description. Web traffic allowed to the management zone. Whoops. Perfect. Add the rule. Perfect. 
Right, okay, so we've gotten through five of them. Uh, those five being DMZ to web, web, uh, DMZ to inside, which wasn't listed on here, but DMZ to inside, uh, web to app, web to database, web to management. So if we now have a look, go ahead and have a look at what we have in run show firewall, we have DMZ to inside. Whoops, tell you what, I'm gonna move that sideways, yeah. We have DMZ to inside. We have DMZ to web. We have web to app, web to data, and web to management. There we go, okay. So that's where we are at the moment. Next, next is web to inside because we do need to add a web to inside. So go back in again, we will do web to inside, which is this group again of software networks that we need to allow to have access. Um, default action, whoops, D5 default is drop description is going to be web traffic allowed to the inside zone. Um, probably better to say, because I said earlier, to the software private networks group that we've created. That's probably a bit more descriptive for whoever comes after us. What's the rule? The rule 100 is going to be action accept. What are we accepting? Destination group, network group, and our group was SL private. Commit that one, that's web finished. So now we need to move on to app to web. So we've done DMZ, we've done web, we're doing app. So we'll move to set firewall, whoops, app to web. The default action will be drop, whoops. Oh, it'd be good if I said that was the name, app to web. Default action drop. Sorry about that. Description is going to be um, application traffic allowed to the web zone. The rule, the rule is going to be Rule 100, action accept. Rule 100, destination port 445. So let's just check that I'm right on that. I'm pretty sure I am. App to web, port 445. There we go, port 445. In accordance with our rules that we have defined. Protocol is gonna be TCP, UDP. Commit that one. I better do a save at this stage because we've got quite a few rules already in, in terms of our firewall rules. We've got a hell of a long way to go though. Um, app to data. App to data is going to be everything. We're going to allow everything. Let's just bring that up again. App to data. Everything is allowed from the application to the database. So we're going to say set firewall name app to whoops to data. Default action will be drop. Description for us. This is application traffic allowed to the 
database zone. Or to the data zone. Doesn't necessarily need to be a database. You could have file uh, shares in there or block shares in there um, that you're providing out to the application zone. Um, so that's app to data. Our rule is going to be 100 and it's action except. Whoops. If I could spell rule, that'd be good. Commit. Lovely. Happy with that one. Finally, app to management, or second finally, app to management. Default action will be drop. Description will be application traffic allowed, whoops, to the management zone. Sorry about all of these, but you know, it does get quite complex doing all of these firewall rules. And the rule is going to be 100 action, um, we're allowing all of it. App to you just double check our diagram again app to management allow everything except commit that one next up app to inside kel surprise <clears throat> app to inside default action drop Description, whoops, application traffic allowed, whoops, to the um, inside, uh, to the, what did I call the soft layer, pr whoops, soft layer, private network groups. Network group. That's fine. What's the rule? The rule is accept and it's going to be destination. So we're going to restrict the destination group, network group, and the group we defined was SL private. Okay. Commit that one. That's the app line done. So we've done the app line. Okay. Database. So we move on to database. And we've got about 10 or 15 more of these left to go. So data to web. <coughs> Firewall name, data to web. Default action drop, description, data traffic allowed to the uh, web zone. Okay. Rule and the rule is going to be action accept destination. Let's just check data to web 445 and data to app 445. Okay, port 445 protocol. TCP, UDP, commit, so that's data to web. Gonna go data to app, I think is the next one up. Oh, wrong line. Right, we want to do 
before we do the rule, we want to actually say name uh, default action drop. I just want to keep these all in the same order. Description data traffic allowed to the application zone. Now we can do the rule. Action accept destination is port 445. And the protocol is TCP UDP. Commit that one. Okay. Better do save. Next up, data to management. Data to management, default action drop. Done. Let's get that one up. Data to, I'll tell you what, it's actually easier just to do it this way. Description. Uh, data traffic allowed to the management zone. Learn how to spell. Okay, what's the rule? And the rule will be Okay, allowing all of it. Allowing all of it. Yes, we're allowing all of it. Yep. Commit that. Whoops. There's probably no need for the last one at all. Um, as in the last line there for the destination, could have just left it blank and just allowed all. Okay, so data to inside. Set firewall name. Data to inside. This is the groups again. This is this group that we're allowing. Um, so default action is drop. Description is data traffic Oops. allowed. Oh dear. To the um, to the soft layer private network group. The rule accept the destination group network group and we called it SL whoops oh dear network group SL underscore private commit that one right my hands are getting tired now after all of these I'm gonna save that as well there next up is Management, the management line. Let's have another look at our zones. Management. Three of these, actually four of these because we have management inside as well. Okay, so management. We need management to web, app, database, and inside. So set firewall name management to uh, web was the first one. Default action will be drop. Um, for the purposes of the video, I'm just going to skip. No, I'm not. <laughs> I would love to skip, but there's no point in taking shortcuts. Um, this is management. Whoops. Management traffic to the whoops to the web 
zone. Might as well just keep on trucking. Uh, the rule, 100, action, accept. Is that what we want the rule to be? Let's just see, management. Management is free access to everything, okay? Accept, okay. We're gonna have management to app. And there will be three lines of this. Management to app. Because these are so similar. Applications on. Well, I might as well just write it in. Um, rule 100, whoops. Accept. Commit that one. Management to data. Description, management, traffic to the data. Data zone. Rule, accept. Commit that one. Okay. Inside. Default action is drop. And this is our rules again. Description. It's going to be management traffic to the um, soft layer. Whoops. Soft layer. Private network. Group. What's our rule going to be? Well, it's rule 100 action except and destination is going to be group network group. It's SL underscore private is what we call the group. Commit. Done with management. So there's only a few more left now.